The next day Toya looked at his new estate. He couldn't believe he got a huge estate instead of the knighthood. Toya was glad that he didn't become a noble and instead had a new home for all his friends. Toya said that living in a house with five people is a lot of work. The girls were surprised that Toya wanted to share the huge mansion with them. They thought that Toya planned to stay in his new house only with Yumina because it was a gift from her father the king. The girls didn't want to be rude, so Toya said that he loves all four of them equally and they are all like family to him. The girls blushed when Toya said he loved them all, and suddenly everyone wanted to look around the mansion. Toya didn't notice that all the girls had a crush on him. Yumina understood why the girls were all nervous, and said that she likes to share Toya with the other girls. After that, we see Toya playing with Kohaku in his new garden. Then the girls showed up, and the girls asked if he really is sure to live with them in the huge mansion. Toya replied that he would like to live with them. In addition, Toya had to promise the girls to treat everyone equally and not to favor anyone. Later, servants showed up to take care of and clean Toya's huge mansion. The butler Lime introduced Toya to the new servants, and Toya learned that Lime was the king's former butler. He was happy to serve his brother's savior. Toya learned that he is the older brother of Sushi's butler, also known as Lime. Toya remembered him immediately, and he had no objection to hiring the nice people as servants. Toya was then informed that Duke Albert and Sushi had come to visit. Sushi said that she was surprised when she heard about Yumina and Toya's engagement. Then Duke Albert said he was also considering Toya marrying his daughter, and Sushi wouldn't reject the idea to marry Toya as well. Toya managed to avoid the subject, and the Duke told him about his request. He wanted to ask for Toya's help, because there should be an alliance between the Kingdom of Belfast and the Kingdom of Miss Mead. Toya should use his gate to safely teleport the kings from one place to another. The next day, Toya made his way to the kingdom of Mismade. Toya met a group of knights who escort Toya and his friends on their journey. Toya thanked Olga for her support, and Almar was also happy to travel with Toya. After that, they discussed the route to the Mismade kingdom, and Knight Leon had a crush on Olga. When it got dark, Toya and his group rested around the campfire. Suddenly, a comrade noticed that bandits are nearby. So Toya showed his phone, and he was able to track the bandits locations using his snapchat app toya tested a new spell and he was able to attack all bandits with his phone the bandits were all paralyzed by toya so the knights were able to arrest all of the bandits then toya noticed that leon had a crush on olger the other girls also watched and they discussed whether olger noticed leon's feelings also they said that olger doesn't seem as dense as a certain someone toya didn't understand that the girls was talking about him when they got to the next town, Toya spotted Leon, who was looking for jewelry. Leon said he wanted to buy a present for his mother. Toya knew it was meant to be a present for Olga. Toya then bought Arma a gift, and he asked her what her big sister Olga had chosen. As a result, Leon found out that Olga likes flowers. Following this, Toya walked away from the booth, and they were able to help Leon find a perfect present for Olga. Yumina praised Toya for helping Leon choose a gift for Olga. After that they sailed to another city, and Lindsay got seasick. So Toya gave Lindsay a piggyback, and Lindsay enjoyed the piggyback. As they were about to continue, Kohaku sensed someone is watching Toya's group. Then they drove on, and Toya suggested to set up a camp before the night fell. Olger said that there are many monsters in the woods, and Toya said that Kohaku can protect everyone. When the night fell on, a dragon suddenly appeared. Toya learned that the dragons are behaving strangely, and that they live in the center of the kingdom of Belfast. Toya looked at his phone, and he noticed that the dragon was flying towards a small village. So Toya's group split up to evacuate the villagers, and Toya attacked the dragon. Toya used Kohaku to lure the dragon away from the city. The dragon followed Toya, and he managed to lure the dragon to a deserted place. Then Kohaku got angry, because the dragon threatened Toya, and Toya was surprised that Kohaku could understand the dragon's language. Next, Toya wanted to knock down the dragon so Lindsay could sever the wings. Toya used a powerful attack and shot the dragon down from the sky. The dragon fell, and Lindsay cut off the dragon's wings. Suddenly, the dragon attacked with his fire breath, and Toya protected Lindsay. Then the other girls attacked the dragon too. The dragon had a very strong skin, and Toya's sword also broke. Suddenly, the dragon was injured by an unknown throwing knife. The dragon couldn't see anymore, and Toya made him stumble. After that, Toya's group prepared to defeat the dragon together. They surrounded the dragon and combined powerful spells. Toya was able to defeat the dragon with his friend's combined attacks. So Toya won against the evil dragon, and suddenly another dragon appeared. 
he was able to speak the human language. The dragon apologized to Toya for causing trouble for his comrade. Toya said he shouldn't cause any more problems in the future. They then put out the fire in the village and cared for the wounded until the next morning. In the afternoon, Leon and Commander Garen were amazed by Toya's good nature. Toya donated all the materials of the dragon to the villager, so they can recover their village with the money. The mayor of the village thanked Toya and wanted Toya to get the dragon's tooth. Toya learned that he can use the tooth to create a powerful weapon. In addition, the mayor gave him back a throwing knife, thinking it belonged to Toya. Toya didn't recognize the knife. Afterwards, in the carriage, Toya asked Kohaku if there were other people in the near of the dragon. Kohaku said that two people were hiding in the trees. However, they arrived at the capital of Miss Mead. Then everyone bowed to King Jamuka. The king heard about Toya's exploits with his friends. Following Yumina stood up, and she confirmed that their group saved the villager from the dragon. The king didn't know who Yumina is, and she introduced herself as the daughter of King Tristwin of Kingdom Belfast. Following this, Yumina said that she wanted to personally deliver a message from her father, requesting an alliance with the Miss Mead Kingdom. However, King Jamuka said that he think of the matter and he give a response in the near future. Then King Jamuka got curious about Toya and asked if Toya would like to fight against him. Toya then learned that King Jamuka is a battle junkie. The king's servant said that Toya should fight the king with his full strength and show no consideration to him. Then the rules were explained that magic is allowed, but strong attack spells are not tolerated. Toya then used his spell slip, and the king lost instantly. The king was surprised by Toya's magic. He didn't want to accept defeat without a fight. So Toya had to fight King Jamuka again, and he wasn't allowed to use the spell slip. Then the two fight against each other, and King Jamuka was very talented in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Followed Toya attacked, and he buffed his strengths. The king dodged his attack. The king also mastered null magic, and he could use the Axel spell to increase his agility. Toya loved his Axel spell and tried using it too. Toya managed to copy the magic perfectly, so both fought with the Axel spell. Toya combined the boost spell with Axel, and he managed to defeat the king. As a result Toya was proclaimed the victor, and the king was surprised and pleased with Toya. In the evening, Knight Leon was looking for his crush Olger, but unfortunately Toya hasn't seen her yet. Then Toya and Leon spotted the girls, and they were all dressed up nicely. The king then discovered Toya and complimented him on his outfit. Toya's girls also complimented him and he was flattered. Then he wanted to take a picture of the pretty girls. After that, Toya told the king about his phone with which he can take photos. The king was amazed and he wanted a picture of himself too.